So, since it's actually about the public law and uh, anyway, I think it's a good point for us very briefly consider the SRA principles. Those are the key provisions on which the actual code of conduct and uh, actual regulation ethics and regulation is based. So they are the key, the key, the most important principles. Oliver, if you could help me, let's just go one by one, spending just up to one minute onto each of them and explaining to the students what means particular principle. Let's start from the first one. So we have to act as solicitors in a way that upholds the constitutional principle of the rule of law and the proper administration of justice. What um, in very plain English, what does it mean? What does solicitors should do and what possibly solicitors shouldn't? Uh, in terms of the, the rule of law and the proper administration of justice, we should not, for example, and a lot of these, there's going to be some crossover, we should not, for example, be involved in things that would be perhaps an abusive process because that would interfere with the proper administration of justice. Even if, for example, it was something that uh, we might argue is legally permissible. Um, an example might be something like excessive disclosure. You know, we may say, oh, the rules say I, I can do this, but I'm going to make such extreme disclosure that I'm going to interfere with the proper administration of justice uh, in this case. And the rule of law, like for people who might not, just to refresh the concept, what does it mean, the rule of law? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a better way to explain it than the rule of law in itself. I mean, effectively, we need to act within the law. We need to make sure that we ourselves are compliant with the law in the way that we uh, undertake our, our work and also in the way that we live our lives. So it's like law takes precedent or, yeah. or something of that nature. Yeah. So great. Um, 